August 16th of 2019. My name is Jim Amato. Being joined by Paul Atlas. One of the most anticipated matchups on the card tonight. The Apex of Combat squares off against the crown jewel of New Japan Pro Wrestling, the Bullet Club. And Chase Owens is here for perhaps the biggest matchup of Lee Moriarty's young career. And certainly no sportsmanship. That's not what Chase Owens has made his career. Names like Jay White, Okada, Tanahashi, all names that have shared a ring with Chase Owens. And tonight, he shares it with Lee Moriarty. And Lee has got the toughest test of his young career. Chase Owens has proved time and time again that he can hang with some of the absolute best wrestlers in the world. The question here tonight is can Lee Moriarty hang with that man? Can Lee Moriarty hang with Chase Owens? And certainly some mind game from the veteran Chase Owens. Uh, he's going to try to get in the head of Lee Moriarty real early here in this match, I'm sure. And Lee's got to block that out and just get down, to, get down the business that Lee Moriarty knows how to take care of. Oh, it really cannot be understated the amount of experience that Chase Owens brings to this matchup, touring full-time with New Japan Pro Wrestling. And night in and night out, iron sharpens iron. Chase Owens, as I said, competes against some of the best wrestlers in the entire world. As Lee Moriarty shoots him off here, shoulder tackle from Owens, deep arm drag. And uh, Owens gets the better of this opening exchange. Let's, I'd be highly remiss if I didn't say a victory here tonight for Lee Moriarty would catapult his career way to the top of the charts. In international implications. But Paul, you can tell that Moriarty is as cool as ice right now. He will not be overwhelmed by the caliber of this matchup. He needs to be. Lee needs to be focused. He needs to have a laser focus, if you will, against this man, Chase Owens, tonight. If he wants to pull off a victory. Thank you, I'll be here half the night. And if you're Chase Owens, I understand you've been in there with the Okadas, the Tanahashis, the Jay Whites, but you can't take Lee Moriarty lightly no, because this kid is the future. Owens having a little bit of fun here tonight with our crowd, but yeah. He, he better not overlook Lee Moriarty. He better not take him lightly, or Lee's going to put him on his back in a heartbeat looking up at the lights. Trust me, just because the rest of the world doesn't know about Lee Moriarty yet doesn't mean they won't know about him soon. Leverage maneuver from Chase Owens. Moriarty off the other side. Gets the successful arm drag. A nice exchange with Lee Moriarty coming out on top. And the apex of combat showing the crown jewel just who he's in the ring with. Chase Owens again, a wise veteran presence, rolls out to the outside, creates a timeout. And he kind of, that smile, smirk kind of off the face of Chase Owens. And I believe he's a little out of sorts. Owens is a little flustered, shoots Moriarty off. Moriarty with the shoulder tackle. Up and over goes Lee. Lee puts on the brakes, as does Owens. Lee off the ropes, Lucha arm drag. And a soccer kick to the arm. The apex of combat living up to his name. But just one. But he definitely got the advantage of that little exchange there. Advantage at this point, Moriarty. Arm bar for Moriarty, very wise. You know this matchup is going to be one on a fluke. You will have to soundly defeat your opponent when you have two athletes of this caliber. Snapping Lee's head against that top rope. And we call it a rope, but let's face it, that's a steel cable encased in hard rubber. And that is the, uh, the ring IQ of Chase Owens. High ring IQ, high ring generalship. Owens using the, using the ring as a weapon, using the ropes as a tag team partner to inflict damage on Lee Moriarty. 
And if you notice now, we, uh, I'm sorry, Chase Owens' demeanor has totally changed right now. He's no more, no more fun loving, no more jostling with the crowd, no more smile on his face. Owens is perched up top. Big axe handle, and Owens is very proud of himself. A little tribute to the Macho Man there. Let's be honest here, Paul. Chase Owens will not let anyone use his name as a stepping stone. He's not going to allow Lee Moriarty to make his career off of, off of the victory here. Oh, no. If Lee gets this victory, he's going to definitely earn it. Chase Owens is not going to just give it up. You don't get in this business where Chase Owens has by taking people lightly and giving them the opportunity to put your shoulders to the mat. Well, let's not make any mistake about it. That Bullet Club influence of Jay White. You'll see uh, Chase Owens bend and outright break the rules, and you'll also see him show that he's a tremendous professional wrestler because he threw all of his weight behind that Irish whip that just lawn darted Moriarty into those buckles. You know, we say the name Bullet Club. Let's not forget some of the greatest wrestlers in the business have gone through that Bullet Club, and Chase Owens is no exception. Over the past six years, Paul, the argument could be made that that has been the most dominant faction around the globe in professional wrestling in one form or another. And they have created top stars throughout the industry in doing so. What a drop kick from Chase Owens. Beautiful vertical leap. I, I may not like his attitude, but his ability is undeniable. Well, this guy is definitely technically sound and he definitely knows his way around that squared circle. A lackadaisical cover there. And Owens cannot allow himself to be distracted by this jam-packed Lamont Furnace crowd. He just can't do it. No, not, not in a matchup as big as this one. And this may be a mistake. All due respect to Chase Owens. Yeah, he's taking a lot of time here trying to execute this maneuver. Going for another macho tribute. Really taking his time. Yeah, this could be a big mistake for Chase Owens. But he caught it. And that's how next level Chase Owens is. He knew what that one. He knew what Moriarty had in mind to try to counter it himself. But Moriarty now one step ahead. A real back and forth physical chess match, both strategically and physically, by Moriarty and Chase Owens. And just that little exchange here shows you how high the ring IQ is of Lee Moriarty for such a young man in this sport today. Just a three year pro. Diving European uppercut by the apex of combat. Nobody throws a European uppercut harder than Lee Moriarty. And drives Owens down to the canvas again, hooks the leg. Owens escapes. That was close though. That Paul, was close. we asked the question, the question in the opening moments of this matchup. Can Lee Moriarty hang with New Japan Pro Wrestling's Chase Owens? And I believe we're getting the answer here. Win, lose, or draw? The answer would be yes. Lee is definitely going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chase Owens right now. Wise ring positioning from Owens. Knew where to drive Lee back into the buckles. Runs into an elbow. Misdirection play from Moriarty. Could be going for the Tornado DDT. And he just spiked the crown jewel. Owens escapes, and Moriarty is in disbelief here. He's, he has to be thinking, how far does he have to dig in the playbook? What does he have to do to put Owens down to the canvas? Moriarty has hit him with everything, almost everything in his arsenal right now. And Chase Owens is still coming back for more. And now Lee Moriarty is going to really dig down deep if he wants to get a victory here tonight. Moriarty charges, got over Zealous, and ran right into a boot, but he absorbs it. And again, got over, over aggressive and paid for it there. And that unfortunately where, is where the youthful inexperience of Lee Moriarty comes into play. Stiff Lariat. And you can see Moriarty, uh, a you can see the look of desperation on his face. As he, he did everything that he could do to get his shoulder up in that exchange. Owens elevates Moriarty again. Lee out the back door. Standing switch from Owens. Back elbow, cracks Owens. 
elevated swinging backbreaker, extra torque for extra impact. And you can see the pain etched on Moriarty's face. And did you notice how Owens used that forearm across the cheekbone during that pinfall attempt? Yes, he did, but he also forgot to hook the leg of Lee Moriarty, and that gave him the ability to kick out of that pinfall attempt. Chase Owens could quite literally be calling a shot here. Could be going for that package pop. Jackknife. Shoulders down. Bridge out by uh, Owens. What neck strength. Trying to, trying to, oh, they're jockeying for position on a backslide here. And here, here's the physical struggle of this matchup. Corey Special. Hooks the leg. No, Chase gets the shoulder up. That was so close. And so Moriarty is stunned. Well, Moriarty, he may have exhausted all of his resources. Yeah, he's dug, dug deep down in his bag of tricks. I don't know if he has anything more left here to put on, put on to Chase Owens. We know Lee is good, but, but is he good enough? Is he good enough at this juncture? Is he good, is he good enough in 2019? Double stomp down across the arm. I'm hooked. Wait a minute. And immediately latches onto the arm. The Fujiwara latching onto the arm like a pit bull. Lee is wrenching and twisting, contorting the arm. He's got it sunk in deep, too. This could be the biggest victory of Lee's career. He's also got himself positioned between Chase Owens and those ropes so that he can't get to him to break that hole. Lee is wrenching with everything in his body. Chase Owens using the referee for leverage to get over to those ropes. That's the only thing that saved Chase Owens from tapping out to Lee Moriarty. And give Chase Owens credit. He did whatever he had to do to extricate himself from that predicament. We could really be targeting that arm now. He, have, he may have found the chink in the armor of the crown jewel. But it's gut check time here, Paul. Back and forth, blow for blow. These guys are going at it right now. Is Chase Owens going to defend his turf? Or could Moriarty have the matchup of his career? And listen to those shots. Back fist. Owens is on Dream Street, but a super kick returns in time. Who wants it more? And what a lariat! Head over heels. What a matchup! What a contest! Both Nick. men die down on the canvas, trying to get up. Who's going to get to their feet first? This personifies competition. First man up is definitely going to have a distinct advantage here. Owens measuring Moriarty. He telegraphed it. Moriarty avoids the contact. Shoulders down. Owens escapes. Tiger driver. He hit him with the flatliner. No. Owens gets the left shoulder up. Unbelievable. What an exchange. What a and I've got to say, it, win, lose, or draw, Lee Moriarty has definitely proven to this audience here and everybody watching out on IndieWrestling.us that he can hang with the best of them and Chase Owens, and he's proving it here tonight. We are witnessing a Steel City Classic unfold before our eyes here. Moriarty up top, taking a chance. Double stomp through. No water in the pool. Back elbow. Lee's on Dream Street. He's hooking him up here. This could be, this could be Chase putting it away. We're already fighting with everything. Chase is getting desperate here. Hook him up again. Look out. Counter. Shoulders down. Got him hooked. No. Look out. Snapdragon suplex. Lee dumped right on the top of his head. 
That's it. That has to be it. Moriarty's out. It's academic from here. Takedown. Hooks the leg. No! I cannot believe it. I am in shock. Where did he come up with the energy to kick out of that? That was Chase Owens. That was his playbook. That was exactly how he's won countless matches. And somehow, Moriarty was able to kick out. And this 15 may, minutes gone, 15 minutes. This may be an abrupt end here. This may be it right here. He, it. he spiked the apex of combat. Minute time of 15 minutes.